Then you went around And did what you wanted to do And now I'm crying Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming at you from a slightly different setup because I actually just want to review some Fenty products. So I ended up getting the um, Fenty Beauty Foundation and I got one of the shimmer highlight matchstick things for myself. And I just wanted to test it out because I saw all the hype about it and I wasn't sure if it was actually good. And like I've never even bought in any of the Kylie Cosmetics stuff because I feel like the quality, I don't know. I just feel like people are buying it because of the hype but not the actual quality. But um, I read online. I mean, everyone's been talking about it, but they have, like, an insane shade selection from Fenty, which they actually do, and I think that's really important because a lot of the times, brands will make, like, really, really, like, a lot of really light shades, and then they'll only make, like, one or two token dark shades, but I'm, like, a very, like, middle skin tone, obviously, you can tell. I'm, like, very, like, olive slash tan, whatever you want to call it, but I'm, like, very much a middle skin tone, so when brands make, like, one dark shade that, first of all, usually doesn't isn't even dark enough that, and they make the one dark shade and then they make like 50 white shades it really doesn't help for anybody that's in between because I usually always have to buy like multiple foundations and mix them together to try to find the right color but um Fenty I was looking online and they had like a bunch of shades so I went and got shade matched at Sephora and so I ended up getting the um pro filter foundation in the shade 370 which I think on the website's described as like a tan olive color and, um, yeah, so I was kind of, I could have suited this shade or the next shade darker, but I chose this one because I use bronzer a lot, and I think I could have even gone one shade lighter in this, but, like, this is really good in terms of, like, shade matching. It matches really closely. Right now, I'm just wearing, like, an eye look and brows, but I'm not wearing any foundation right now, so you guys can just see how it, um applies so first things first let's talk about the packaging i actually like the packaging a lot i like the frosted um clean look i'm a person that likes clean lines so like i like everything either to be like black or white or clear i don't really like the super crazy packaging so i appreciate the fact that this is like minimalistic and it just comes with a handle it's kind of like shaped in a little weird shape but um yeah and then it just comes with a pump on here and i've tried this out before so this is not like a first impressions i've used a little bit of it you guys can see obviously but um, yeah, and it, then it just says um, Fenty Beauty right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's probably not going to focus. But it says Fenty Beauty on there. And I'm just going to apply it with a... Um, oh, move the camera a little bit. I'm just going to apply it with a beauty blender. And I have like a mirror right here. So I'm just going to take some. I usually... I don't put the foundation on that heavy because before this, I just usually use like the MAC Studio Fix powder because I hate things to feel cakey. Like I have the Too Faced Born This Way and even in even that sometimes it can settle into creases and I just don't like things that feel cakey. So I was like really hesitant switching to a um liquid foundation because I normally wear just powder foundation. But the issue with that is it wasn't long lasting enough. So I'm just gonna test out a liquid basically is what I thought. So I'm just putting like one pump on for now and I'm just taking it and I am going in Oh, well, I guess you guys can still see me. Okay, I'm going in underneath my eyes first in like a triangular motion, just dabbing lightly like that. I need the mirror a little bit closer. Just going in. I'm only going to apply it to half of my face at first. And you guys can see it's slightly darker on the like this plane of my face, but if you look compared to like my forehead my forehead is um a lot darker so if you look it's like it's a pretty good match I would say and I'm just blending it Okay, so now you guys can kind of see how it looks. This is like the true finish. You guys can kind of see how it looks on just one half of my face. And now I'm going to quickly go through the second half of the, my face and then give you guys what I actually think. Crying, crying. Ooh, seemed like everything was going fine. I found a love that I thought was going to last. Then I accidentally saw a few things in your cell. I even lol man. Should have known. Okay. So this is the completed full face 
with the foundation as you can see it blended beautifully i've only ever used it with the um beauty blender but i really honestly love the finish and the best part about the finish is if you look at it it doesn't look super fake at all and like when i touch my face it doesn't feel full of cake at all like it just feels very like smooth and skin finish and it's i don't even want to say powdery finish but for me that means a good thing because i like powder foundation but it has like that like smooth powder finish like if i touch it my face isn't wet it's not creasing, which is surprising. If you look underneath my eyes, I don't see creasing at all. Like right there, there's no real creasing or anything like that. And it's not settling into any lines and it just looks very, very smooth and it's a nice clean canvas. And the best part about it is despite the fact that it's not super heavy, it's still balanced out my forehead. Like if you look now, my forehead is pretty much the same color as the rest of my face, which is something that like is really important to me because my forehead's normally darker. So yeah, so this is, really really great and i'm just gonna set it with a beauty blender and i'm gonna use the laura mercier um translucent setting powder and I actually got this really recently i bought this when i bought fenty because i didn't need a setting powder because i hated liquid but i am going to set it with this because it's supposed to be super fine and great so i'm just gonna take it i'm not a super bake type person so i'm just gonna take it and like loosely dab it all over my whole face no, no. why why you do what you do you you might as well to sell the honest truth see uh, okay so this is what the foundation looks like basically fully set and like i was saying before there is really no creasing i can touch my face i can like push around on it and it's not really coming off at all and it feels really really smooth and great so yeah in terms of the foundation this is probably I don't want to like make in like make and like crazy statement but this is probably like the best liquid foundation i've used thus far just like because of the fact that it's so light it the coverage it has a good amount of coverage and it feels so light on the skin and it feels really natural which is what i like because if i'm wearing my foundation for like 10 hours a day i don't want to feel like it's settling in and looking really thick so if you are someone that doesn't need a whole lot of coverage and you just want something to even you out and something that feels light, I highly, highly recommend checking out Fenty and getting shade mask for it. So I would say that, it, yes, it definitely is worth the hype. So um, yeah, so that's the foundation. And then next up, I actually was just gonna get the foundation. I wasn't even planning on getting this, but um, this is the match stick in the shade Confetti. It's just a shimmer skin stick, shimmer skin stick. So it's basically just a, um, it's just a highlight in a stick form and i really really love the anastasia moonshot glow kit i put a review for it on my channel like you guys can check that out i love those like shades and this when you look at it it looks like a weird color but um i'm just gonna swatch it for you guys and you can just see how glowy it is right there and it like reflects this like blue purple color and i wasn't really sure about cream like, look at that. You guys can see really accurately how blue it is. It looks really awesome. And I'm not really a person that... It looks so much better. Wow, I'm getting distracted. It looks so much better in real life because it's, like, reflecting purple glitter. And I... Anyway, like I was saying, I'm not a person that likes cream products because, like I said, I hate the feeling of things being super heavy and super cakey and super thick. But, um, yeah, again, with this finish, I love the finish of it. It blends out really, really well. You guys can see I'm just blending it out on my hand. And, um... It has like a really nice, again, like powdery feel finish. Like it doesn't feel wet. This does blend a lot though. So I would recommend like putting it on and then just blending it and then let it stay in place. Because if you go back in with more powder and stuff like that, it does kind of go all over the place a little bit. But um, yeah, so right now I'm just going to contour with my normal Too Faced um, Soleil bronzer. And then I'm going to put this on so you guys can see it. Uh, I'm not really down with this. The same not text and shit. No, I got no biz, but it is what it is. I don't really have much to say. I was over it the second that I said. I got two letters for you. Okay, so this is the completed look with a Fendi face. Would I say it's approved and you should check it out? Definitely, definitely you should. It's so in oh. It's so inspiring to see brands that are actually geared towards people of medium to dark skin tones. And I'll just throw it in just as like a side. Like this is actually catering to people of color, which I think is super, super great. And I really appreciate because I basically just found my perfect shade. Like if you look at it, the shade match, like just looking at my arm, it's pretty incredible that it actually matches my skin tone. It has a good consistency. It has skin tone. It has shades for everybody. People that are darker, all the way dark and all the way lighter than me and the people in between, which I really, really appreciate it. And it has shades going all the way lighter. So 
Rihanna, you basically slayed the game. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks for watching also. And if you guys um, have any questions or want to know what else I'm wearing or want me to review anything else, um, please leave me a comment and like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, self promo. Follow me on Instagram. It's just my name at Dipti Kumar with an underscore after it. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.